What's going on YouTube, GeoSnorite here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 13.4, 13.4.1 and so on, a new untethered exploit has been achieved. Now when I say untethered I mean it, Proteus posted this in here, quote, this is a TFP0 bug and exploit which is affecting iOS 13.4.1 on A13. For those of you who are not aware, A13 is basically the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro and of course 11 Pro Max and stuff like that, but it's basically the latest chip available from Apple. This is massive. But then of course he followed it up with this, as if TFP0 wasn't enough. Quote, this is a persistence bug and exploit which is affecting iOS 13.4.1 on A13. Now for those of you who are curious in here, this random uh, letters and numbers and stuff like that are basically the hash of possibly the write-up or the zip archive containing the exploit and stuff like that. This is used for basically proving the fact that you were the first to find it or something like that. But at any rate, this is actually very important. A persistent exploit or bug basically means untethered, which means that once you use this, you got an untethered jailbreak. Now, we haven't had an untethered jailbreak for quite some time, especially for the latest iOS versions, and this bug in here supports 13.4.1. Now, if you take a look in here, iOS 13.4.1 is signed right now, it's the only version signed right now, and of course, this is actually massive, the fact that he even has an exploit for 13.4.1, giving him actually a TFP0, and of course, he uses it in here to get the kernel slide, which basically basically proves the fact that he does have TFP0. And as you can see here, the uh, hexadecimal numbers in here basically show the kernel version, the Darwin kernel version. Again, he wants to prove the fact that he does run 13.4.1. And yes, the kernel version in here does indeed confirm iOS 13.4.1 on an A13 device. So yeah, and the kernel slide in here also appears to be valid and also the TFP0 appears to be valid. So this is indeed legitimate, but we don't even need to check for that because Proteus is a known security security researcher who has been credited multiple times on Apple's security content, so he's definitely legitimate, no doubt in there. But yeah, the fact that this is an untethered exploit is still blowing my mind. We haven't had persistence in quite some time, and the untethered jailbreaks that we had released in the past year were actually for older versions like iOS 11 and stuff like that, but never for the current version as it's the case in here. Now of course there's no word for the moment on the release, but he might release it in the future once it gets patched, which of course will take a while considering the fact that iOS 13.4.1 is currently the latest version available in here. Now you may wonder, is it only available for A13 devices because he only mentions A13 in there? Well no, very likely not, because usually if it works on A13, it will work on A12, it will work on A11 and stuff like that with no problem. He mentions A13 because the fact that it works on the latest device is more interesting than the fact that it works on, let's say, A12 or A11. But it still works on those devices, it's still backwards compatible. At any rate, if this gets released, we would be able to update the Uncover in a very, very interesting fashion. Imagine Uncover untethered. Now, as I said, there is no info about a release for the moment, but he might release in the future. He didn't say he wants, so this is actually good. But for those of you who do have an older device like the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7, 7 Plus and stuff like that, there is already a jailbreak for 13.4.1 and 13.4, and that is of course the check range jailbreak, which is available right now. But if you don't have an A10 or A11 or stuff like that device, you have an A12 or A13, it's unfortunate, but you cannot use check range. So you're going to have to wait for a TFP0 kernel exploit. TFP0 standing for kernel task for. It's basically the task for PID, which is a function, and then of course PID0, which represents a kernel. TFP0, basically the task for PID0, or the kernel task port. As you probably know, that's crucial for a jailbreak. Now, this is actually very interesting, and if we do get that exploit, it will be available for 13.4.1, 13.4, and even 13.3.1. It's backwards compatible, so it's definitely interesting. However, as I said, for the moment, we cannot expect it to be released in the near future, because 13.4.1 one is still signed, it's currently the latest version available, and even if Proteus decides to actually release this, he will have to wait 90 days for Apple to patch it, and of course after that he can release it, if he goes with the responsible disclosure, which he definitely will do, because he was credited many times in the past in the uh, Apple security content, and therefore he is known to actually report the bugs, which is a good thing, because after that we can get them. At any rate, check out the jailbreak forum that I created in here at jailbreak.fc365.info, here you can request jailbreak help and of course ask me questions and also you can get the latest jailbreak news. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated with the latest news and peace out.